Hello everyone, um, I am back with a brand new video, a my second Lego unboxing video. Uh, this is something I got for Christmas, it's um, very happy to have this, it is Lego Friends the television series, um, it's set 21319, it's 16 plus. I'm just gonna get straight into this. So, I've got a very nice picture of what the set looks like. They've got ideas. Um, this side. This side. The characters, which it comes with. So, we've got Rachel, Joey, Chandler, Phoebe, Monica, and Ross. It also comes with Gunther. And there are all the figures there, and there are accessories. Um, here is the top. And the bottom. And the back, which shows all of the features, which is very cool. Very excited to open this set. Right, so let's crack this open. If I can. If you didn't know, Friends is one of my favourite TV series because it's amazing. Right. Okay, here we go. Look at all of that. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So, we have and some stickers and obviously a very thick instructions but yeah let's build this thing so no one told you that was gonna be this way your job's a joke you broke
an amazing set. Yes, this is probably one of my favourite Lego sets I have. Uh, yeah, got my uh, friend's calendar here, but just look at this set. It's just amazing. So many details. So many. But we'll go to have a look more closely in a second. But first of all, let's have a look at these lovely figures that are very, I'd say, probably season one, two-esque. Um, yeah, that's what I think. So yeah, let's look at these lovely figures. Here we have Monica Geller. Um, yes, very, very good figure, I have to say. She's got a muffin. Um, so if we just have a look. She has some um, light brown legs and the details carry on. Um, to the the torso um, because they're long trousers with the um, with the braces and then the white long sleeve t-shirt um, um, I'd say they got the um, the expression and face very well and it's probably the perfect hairpiece, um, especially from when the, these figures are based around, which I think is maybe seasons one to three or very early. So if we have a look, the black printing does go onto the back. We can see the braces there clipped on to the trousers. I wonder if there are. Yeah, we've got a sort of stern, irritated face here. Um, so yeah, that's the back printing. So overall, very nice figure. And yeah, I thought they caught um, her clothes very well to represent her, oh, generally her overall look in those seasons. We'll move on to the next character. We now have Rachel. Um, great character in Friends, definitely. Um, she comes with an accessory because this is based around when she was a waitress at Central Park. So we've got her um, uh, tray with a mug for some coffee um, so that's a good accessory and then these other clothes she mostly wore in when she was a waitress um, and obviously this is probably the perfect hairpiece for the um, for the Rachel hairstyle um, she didn't have the, she didn't really have that much throughout the series, but yeah. Um, so yeah, back printing again, and a snarly, nasty, very angry look for Rachel. Not sure if that's the best other expression they did, and this expression is just a normal, yeah, meh kind of face. So yeah, that's a very good figure for Rachel. Definitely captures her, um, what she looks like. Moving on to the hilarious Ross. Here we have him, and I, I just this. I think everyone thinks this does just something about the facial expression that just captures what Ross looks like. I don't know if it's the big bushy eyebrows, the sort of lines under his eyes, or if it's the lines beside his mouth. Just all of it is, is great. 
Um, I think the hair piece is is really good for those first few seasons. So there we have him in his his beige suit, his stripy tie, the blue shirt, uh, brown trousers. Yeah, we've got back printing. Nothing too special. It's just a blazer. So yeah, and then yeah. <clears throat> A sort of confused huh sort of face uh yeah very very good figure no accessory to come up with ross moving on to joey comes with loads of accessories here um jerry was my favorite character probably when i started the series um but on my many rewatches it has changed to Chandler because he's just great. So he comes with loads of accessories. We've got a takeaway pizza box here, which is just a two by two tile uh, with the Italian flag on, just saying pizza. Yeah, which is always nice. Just go with that, and then we've got a quarter of a pizza, just a pizza slice here big pizza slice. Right, can we make out what's on the pizza? Uh, green pepper and mushrooms and olives. That's what it looks like. So that's the pizza slice that Joey has. And then he's also got the brown satchel here. I haven't seen any of these holster slash satchel things in a while. Uh, then we've got his um, his red shirt jacket thing and plain white shirt with black trousers. Um, yeah, great expression for Joey. And yeah, really, that uh, happiest choice is very good as well. So, moving on. Not much back printing, it's just a jacket. Um, and then that's the other expression it has and uh, yet another just meh even more meh face so mm, oh, a half happy face good expression for Joey so yeah. and that was Joey we'll now move on to my favourite the funny the amazing Sean Bing. Here he is. He's a very strange, uh, confident, um, happy face we've got here. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it. It's um, very oblivious, happy face. And he's got um, um, a briefcase here. This is a very recognisable outfit, I believe. I think the black waistcoat and blue shirt and the brown and beige trousers, the tan trousers. And yeah, very, very good hairpiece, I think. Yeah, good hairpiece. And then the back, very simple back of the waistcoat stuff. So, yeah, let's see if, yep. He does have a second face here. Um, yeah. And an irritated face, I think. So yeah, that's that's Chandler Bing. We'll now move on to the final member of the Friends Gang, BB. Her accessory is a very nicely detailed guitar, uh, Spanish acoustic classical, whatever you want to call it, guitar here, and it's got a little um, clip thing to hold on to, just if I can, like that, because this is how you hold a guitar, 
like a violin. Lovely. Um, anyway, that's the guitar. And then some very um, strange patterned clothes. Oh, um, shirt, short sleeve shirt over the the purple shirt with the dark brown trousers. Um, yeah, this is a very good hairpiece. A bit light, a bit too yellow blonde, uh, but I think that's the best one they had. And yeah, smiley, happy expression. I think it works for Phoebe. Just to see the back, we we'll remove the hair, and she's got a oh my god sort of face and the back of her short sleeve shirt type thing goes onto the back, same pattern. Um, yeah. So that is Phoebe. Phoebe person. Phoebe twin sister of Ursula. Who's surname I forgot. Anyway, that, those are all the figures. So let's move on to the set. Oh dear. Just so many details in this set. So many. I'm going to remove uh, the figures and take a look at the set after showing you Gunther. So, yes, let's have a, look, a quick look at Gunther. Yeah. Very quickly. So here is Gunther, the amazing, fantastical Gunther. Um, yeah, uh, perfect hairpiece, good expression. Um, we obviously have the crazy tie in bright lime green shirt um, and a brush um, sweep thing so we can clear up the cafe. The shirt design goes onto the back and then underneath we have an irritated face um, probably used at the friends for being too loud or at Rachel for not doing the right thing. So there we go, that's Gunther. Put him back where I put him, wherever that is, I can't really remember. And now we're gonna, so now I'll take all the figures away and have a closer look at the set. Okay, so first of all, um, well we can take this away, you can see that this is just a marvellous set. So here is the area, <coughs> if you haven't noticed already, this set is inspired by not just the cafe but the actual set of the cafe, which is why we have the light lamp lighting things here we have no roof um and um yeah no back to it because this was the only bit of the set they had um why we never got to see past this bit where the the sofa and armchairs were um so yes let's have a look the set. So here we have the area where they always sit and this gives us, if probably no one really noticed this, but I think throughout the first three seasons or something, which again this is what I said this is based on, uh, there was a reserve sign on the table which is how they always had this table. Um, yeah, but obviously by the time they got to the episode where there was the one with the bullies or whatever it's called, it probably was not there anymore. Then we have a newspaper. 
uh, the Lego news saying some stuff. What's it saying? It's saying something. The greatest hero ever. You know, it's about a fireman. Right, so on the table we've got some nice flowers, a red flower pot. Um, what is that? Tissue dispenser type thing. We've got some coffee mugs. Came with loads of extra coffee mugs. So I put them around and about. So the, yeah, there, we'll, there we've got the armchair that Ross um, often sits in. And then we've got, of course, the orange sofa. Very iconic. And then we've got the two sort of leopard, not really leopard, but sort of leopard themed, flo no, or floral kind of flower pattern there. I put a muffin, a coffee mug, and a piece of pizza there for Joey and um, Chandler or Monica or someone. Um, yes, we'll now move on to this area. We've got the the lamppost thing, indoor lamppost things. So uh, we've got the keyboard, which I don't actually remember ever being in the episode. It's just so many accessories with this set. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at the keyboard. So yeah, it comes with four legs. Four legs. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't remember this keyboard ever being on it, but it's very good design for a keyboard. Looks very like a keyboard, so that's always good to have a keyboard that looks like a keyboard. You know what I'm saying? I think you probably might know what I'm saying. There's the keyboard. I'll just put it back where I found it. And then it also has a microphone. For Phoebe, uh, obviously I remember this. Yeah, I mean I remember Ross saying that he played the keyboard in high school, but uh, yeah. I don't remember there actually being a keyboard in there. Um, yeah, so there's the microphone that I put next to each other, you know. And then there's a table which I put red mug on. There's a red and brown sofa. There's one of the lights. Yeah, it's a very good design, makes it look like a set light. And then around the rim, we, well, actually just outside. Yeah, we'll take a look here. Which is where you'd normally see um, them walking into or walking past. We've got the window, it's a central park here. Yeah, we've got the, I always remember, forget what it's called, rain stopper things the red and white thing and then we've got the, uh, the joey blue lipstick for men japanese poster thing um so yeah that's always good it wasn't actually there i'm pretty sure but it's a nice easter egg detail reference and these doors do open this way that's nice so yeah those are the doors uh, we've got the rubbish bin here, which I'm just going to because it spun very loosely. And we've got a window going in to see some nice flowers and other stuff. We've got some bricks. We've got the back door that presumably goes to the kitchen or something. Or a washing up area type thing. So, yeah, it just goes nowhere, basically. And yeah, my set stuff. So we'll now take a look at some other things. Yes, we'll take a look here. Here we have the blackboard, which is um, Central Park Long Island Cream, Central Jolt Fifth Avenue Blend, Empire Roast Miss Liberty Blend, New York Classico. Tin Pan Java, Manhattan Mocha, Broadway Quartet, and Urban Tribe Java. I guess these are all the tricks they do, I presume. Um, probably what I put it. Then we have the 
um, a till area. I forgot what you call it because you know my memory is always very helpful. Now there's the till there. Till there. Caching machine thing, whatever you want to call it. We've got, we've got this nice thing for cookies and other stuff. There's a jam and cream thing that looks like a ammonite. You know the fossils, those things. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can you see it there? We are. Yeah, some cakes and cookies and biscuits um, and then here we have the coffee machine I think whatever it is I have no idea it looks very steampunk but uh, yeah it's very cool we've got you know genie in the lamp which is always good in the cafe you know what I'm saying so yeah we've got some extra cups and beer bottle thing some plants more plants, you know. Um, yeah, the coffee machine looks great, really well designed. Nice and golden, bronze colour. Let's see it if we can. That's the best look I can get you because there's just so much stuff in here I just can't get in. But actually, saying that, I can. You can actually remove this whole thing. Yes, you can. Can I do it? Yes, I can. See, if you just yeah, see, look, I'm knocking everything over. You just want this. Boom. Take it out, and then you've just got this. It's great. So yeah, there's something I probably would have forgotten to tell you if I had. Realised how cramped it was. So, yeah, that's always a place. I'll just put this back here without knocking anything over. Knock something over, okay. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Right, I've knocked quite a few things over. This can go back here. Just slots in. And then I'll put this chair back and have a look. So, here we have. Um, a red and other colour rug. Here's a blue one with some weird metal sheets, which is always good to have in a cafe. It's, it's great. And then something that no one might have noticed before, I certainly didn't know this was here, is this service arrow thing, which is pointing to the roof for some reason. So we'll just make it go there. And then it goes directly to where you have service from. It's not really very hard to find, but you know, stuff. Um, if you can only see big red arrows that say stuff on, then then um, well, that's going to help you. Then we've got um, a painting of a bridge, a suspension bridge, I think. We've got some nice flowers, the same flowers we saw through the window. A weird goblet of fire thing, there we go. Builder's hats and umbrellas. It's just jam-packed full of accessories. It's just an amazing set. So yeah, we've got knocked over pink mug there. We've got some more pink mugs. We've got an Italian flag theme thing. I have no idea what that is. That goes there, and then we can open the door, which goes to my hand. Wow, it's amazing, don't you think? So yeah, then we've got um, another sofa. It looks very uncomfortable, to be honest. And um, some some stools there with a table, some more of those lamp posts, and a poster saying. Live tonight, Phoebe Buffet. Oh my gosh, that's what her surname is. Phoebe Buffet. Thank you, Lego set. You teach me everything. All I learnt, I learnt from Lego. You see what I did there? See what I did there? You didn't see what I did there. You know, that's fine. 
Um, were there any other Easter eggs in here? I thought there were more, but you know, it's already jam packed full of, full of everything. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just great. This set is amazing. Um, do I have anything else to say? I don't, don't really think so. I, I recommend this set to friends, fans, collectors, friends, fans, and collectors. Um, yeah, it's a great set. It comes with some just brilliant Lego figures. Such, just so many details, Easter eggs, references, everything. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I don't know how long it is, but uh, thanks for watching it anyway. And I'll see you in the next one, which I believe is Doctor Who Season 26 Blu-ray unboxing. Because I've already recorded it. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'll see you in that video. And then beyond, I'll see you in something. Salmon Skin Roll.